I implore you now to follow the logic of what you are all doing and give the Ukrainians the tools to finish the job. Give them the deep fire artillery systems. Give them the tanks. Give them the planes. Because they have a plan. They know what they need to do. And my God, they've shown they have the skill and the bravery to do it. Give them the wherewithal to take back that land bridge and the rest of their country, because the faster they win, the greater the savings in treasure and in lives. And the faster the world economy will bounce back to health. He isn't mad. He isn't ill. He simply made a historic, I'm, that's what I'm afraid all, all the evidence says, uh, he simply made a historic miscalculation and is struggling to deal with the position in which he has now placed his own country. He won't use nuclear weapons because it would instantly extinguish the last flicker of Chinese support. It would lose him every one of the world's swing voters from India to Africa to Latin America. He would terrify his own people, if he did so, who, who would live in dread of the consequences for them. He would plunge Russia into such a cryogenic freeze of economic isolation as to make the present sanctions regime seem like a blessing. And it would not even work, because I don't believe for a minute he would stop the Ukrainians for fighting for their hearths and their homes and their families. And so we mustn't fall for this trick of trying to portray, uh, that he does, of trying to portray this conflict as a standoff between a nuclear-armed NATO and a nuclear-armed Russia, because that is not what is happening here.